Hey guys, Dark Recycle and FPV, and I've got an RMA here. A guy sent us a drone that he bought. I think he bought it from RDQ uh, and said that I believe the issue is he's supposed to be able to fly it with his DJI controller and his goggles. And unfortunately, I don't believe this is wired up for his DJI controller. I don't know exactly. We're going to open it here. So let me just go ahead and split the screen up and show you what we got. All right. So here's what we're working on right here. So I'm going to go ahead and get this out uh, and let's see what we've got on the bench here. All right. So let me just get this out of this. Foam packaging, there we go. I'm not really sure if this has even been flown. From what I'm understanding, it couldn't fly because it was wired. I don't know, it wasn't wired for his radio. So let's go ahead, he's setting his radio as well. Let's go ahead and check this out. It feels like a, it feels like a DJI radio. And it is, all right, so there we go. Uh, and let's see, and we've got the DJI goggles in there. Okay, so let's just go ahead and start checking this out. Um, it doesn't look like there's another receiver in here. I thought he had mentioned something about there being one, but what may have happened is that it may not have been wired for the DJI, depending on how this came. Now, I broke my tool yesterday that I normally use, so I'm having to substitute one for now until I get my tool placed. But let me just go ahead and open this up. And let's just see if we can get this going for him. I just need to verify that it's even wired. Uh, and I can't see because of this plate. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open it up. It may be wired, but I want to verify. And I think what I'll do is also remove. Hey, babe. Yeah. By any chance, if I show you the tool that I need, you might be able to find and tell me if you see one. Cool. Yeah, because I broke mine yesterday. The, my... The one that I always use, um, it's, well, okay, I'll hold it up. It's this one. My poor tool, used it for years. Oh man, you blocked off my view of you. Uh, was there a size on it? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, that is going to be the 2.0. It's a 2.0. Thanks, Mama. Uh -huh. You're the best. I'm sorry, I know, but you're the best for even looking. Holy cow, this one's just cranked in there. All right. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to survive on this thing. Okay, let's see what we're working with here. So we've got our Vista. Um, and the first thing I want to do is I want to look and verify that, and I can't see it from here, gosh darn it. So we'll have to get in a little bit more on this. Yes, oh, was that the only color you have? Well, that's fine, I'm not being picky. Where do you have the two? I don't know, the, it, I'm not sure. Really so it's gonna be that one. And so here's what I'm thinking about doing. If I can just unscrew this one. Oh man, this is gonna really piss me off. Why? Because these are all loose. So let me see if I can get this off. I like the handle that I have here. Oh man, look at this. We are cooking with grease. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Might, might be set now. I'm gonna take Dude, you're the best. In. Here, yeah, you can take the whole set out. Just keep that with it. Thanks, babe. You're the best. Yeah. All right, now I'm back to using my tool again. All right. All right. Anyways, let me see where I'm at with this because I need to really uh, see how much movement I have here. Uh, just need to see in there, and I'm really not liking that. <sighs> All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to try something a little different here just so we can maybe speed this along. Okay, so it shows the wire to be added, but there's just something really messed up in there. So let's see if we can make some magic happen without having to gut this thing too badly. All right.
because the cable to the S bus, I don't know, there's a, it looks like there's a kink in it, a pretty bad kink, and I just need to verify that it's going to be okay. Can't answer right now. Okay. So let's see what we got. So yeah, these wires are pretty torn up. Uh, see if I can show you this through the microscope. I'm not sure. I'll give it a shot so you guys can see what I'm looking at here. Um, let me see if I can do that real quickly. Bear with me one second. Should be popping up here in just a sec. So there we go. There's that. Now let me see if I can show you guys what I'm seeing. It's going to be tough to kind of get this angle, but if it works, great. Let me raise the camera up a little bit. So see if you can see right. Yikes, this is not going to be easy. Mm, may not be able to get it. I think we're getting some of the wires. Okay, let's get the light on. You can see in there. Okay, that's the... We're missing it by a little bit. Here, these are the wires right here. Let's see if I can get these in focus. There we go. And now if you look, you see how that is? That looks terrible. Uh, I don't know. That's just not very good at all. Uh, we're going to have to clean that up. So let's go ahead and get started on that. And I guess to do that, because these, if you look at that, I mean, they're barely hanging on. They've moved. They've uh, they've definitely extended themselves. The coating around them, the, the silicone sheath around them has been pulled back way too far. So uh, let me see. And then I've got stuff blocking the red. But anyways, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to work on that and cleaning this up, because that's going to be vital to making sure this quad stays in the air properly. Um, so let me see. Let's go ahead and remove the screws that mount that in. Oh, I see there's no. Hmm, okay. these out of the way put the other screws in here all right well, we got one more go now we should be able to hopefully get this thing lifted up a little bit uh.
Okay, so now that we've got this out, don't want to take it out too much farther than that. Now what we're going to do is we will work on just repairing all of this uh, while it's sitting like this. And that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let me just make sure we got all our soldering ready. We do. So yeah, this is really not looking too good. You can get a better idea of it now. I guess I can bring the microscope back if that makes it easier. You can see what we're looking at now. <sighs> there we go. So there you get a you get a good glimpse of the wiring. So we've got the power and the ground. I'm not really sure actually where the heck power and it should be there. Oh yeah, it's just tucked underneath. So you've got power and ground. And then your TX, RX, and look, you can see the S bus here. I mean like there's well, well, there you go. It just kind of pulled right off. So that's that's where the problem is. So we're going to go ahead and fix all that right now. And then we'll show you the clean version when it's done. All right. Let's see. Let's get the old man glasses. There we go. Let's get some, get our flux pen. Let's get an alcohol wipe because this thing is dirty. Let's clean it up. How's it going, babe? What? How's it going over there? Good. I'm doing uh, main right now. Okay. No, not at all. You're doing fine, babe. Not a problem. You're doing awesome. All right, so we're going to let's pull this off here. Let's clean it up at least. So we've got a ton of solder right here that we need to clean. So the best way to do that is to just kind of pull everything off. And let me just make sure that I remember this so I don't have to go digging for it. So from left to right, we've got yellow, black, blue, green, black, and then red. Yellow, black, blue, green, black, red. Perfect. Now we can take this off. And clean it up. Okay. First thing we'll do, hold the moly like pig pen from Charlie Brown. Let's go ahead and just clean this up. All right, first thing we're gonna do is let's work on the wire harness itself. That's where the problem seems to be. So we're going to basically cut all the, cut all the ends and start fresh. Try not to wear these glasses as much as possible because my eyes get lazy. Let's just cut these ends off one. Two, three, four, five, and six. All right, get these out of here. Okay, tin those up. So let's get some flux on them first. All right. Now what we want to do is hold the strands and spin the silicone. This gets a real tight uh, uh, wind on the strands so they don't come loose. All right. Uh, maybe I didn't get the blue wire yet. Hold on. 
thought I got them all, but it looks like the blue has not cut yet. You see? No, nope, blue is not done. All right, so let's go ahead and blue. There we go. All right, now, grab our helping hands. Hopefully we can knock all these out in one run. Just put the clip right there. And let's hope for the best. Mixed in the yellow wire just a little bit. Not sure yet. Now, let's go ahead and reattach the wires properly. And we're going to start from left to right, okay? So, I do, I do think I want to extend this one just a little bit. So, hold on one second. Just a little There we go. All right. Let's get the tweezers. Let's get the old man glasses. All right, that's back in. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in, and I'll show you what the wiring looks like, because I think I said I was going to show you that anyway, so it's only fair to compare it and show you what it should look like. Okay, so here is what the wiring should look like. Uh, there, okay? So we have everything now on clean. You can see the S-Bus is on fully. Uh, everything is tinned and attached properly. All right, looking very clean, and we cleaned up that spot a little bit. All right, now that that's done, now I'm going to go ahead and just, with before I do anything else, I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it in, and I wanna verify that everything's functioning, right? So before I go through all this work of putting it in and closing it up, so let's make sure, all right, and luckily we can do that this way. So I'm just gonna kinda of leave it hanging out like this. And what I'm going to do is get the USB-C cable so that we can plug in Betaflight and make sure. Oh, I don't want to hear that all day. That took out my USB. Okay, so we have another problem here, perhaps. Uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, one thing that we are going to do as well 
And I believe that's going to connect to what we want to do is we want to also eliminate the unnecessary need for these cables. So let me, now that one will keep, let me see where they run the other one. definitely more problems so let's get to gutting this thing now now we're at the point where it's just got to be gutted so let's go ahead and gut it
Bless you. Wow, okay, so this is what we're seeing now in beta flight. Um, not really sure what happened to this board to create such an issue. It's very strange. Uh, let me see, I need to go back to that RM8. That is not normal. Obviously something has happened, and now what we're going to do <sighs> All right, let's do this. Let's get this back on the screen. Let me minimize this. I'm going to look at the client's ticket real quick, so I don't want anybody else to have to see that because it's private information. And then let me log in here. Uh, sent me one. Of those. I'm desperate to get the tickets. I possibly sent you to join a remote. You set it up. Okay. Are you here? You two really not reach you. Okay. So first thing we need to do is we need to find the um, Steve Oak, right? Steve Oak. This is the Nazgul. Okay, the Nazgul. Pretty sure I had this target F772. Alright, let's just go back to beta flight. And let's plug in the flight controller. And let's do a firmware update. Well, let's actually connect to it first. I'm curious to see what was on here. Let's do a version. No. So now let's go to the firmware update. And let's go to the. All right, let's flash it. And while that's happening, let's see if we can. Go to the, uh, let's see, nope, let's do this route. I'm going to turn the buzzer off here in a second, guys. I apologize. Well, look at that. We finally have something working. 
Go ahead and connect. Set, calibrate ports. Let's look at what they've got. Configuration. I don't think there's a, oh, there's a motor protocol. Okay. Excellent. So let's, uh, let's see. Let's see if we can find from their site. Uh, I guess that's not the, um, what is the iFlight RC website? I don't know. Where is there? Is there another thing here? I don't keep track of all that. Uh, shop iFlight. There. Great. Okay, so we are looking up, let's see, the uh, I don't want any messages. FSD. All right, Nazgul FSD. Sam, you're on, like, it's coming through. It's okay. Now you can talk. I just didn't want you to have our own speakerphone. All right, let me see where I'm at. Let's go evoke. He told me he had the evoke, but I'm a little concerned because I don't. Yeah, the evoke F5D. So where are we at? F5. This one right here, I think, is where we're going. There you go. See if we can find the file with it. I don't like finding this stuff.
Awesome. It's all accurate? That's awesome, babe. Nice job. Yeah, that one was the closest. Alright, we're gonna download this hex file. Okay. See if we can get this set. So let me everything's in the garage. Is that landing? Yeah. All right. If he wants to, I can work on it, yeah. see anything here that was different from what we just did so I'm going to explain to me I'm not looking for that I was looking for Factory dump salt and asgol F5. Okay, let's do that.
All right, now let's see where we're at. Port should be set. Oh, they are, that's nice. Okay, so everything here looks good now. Um, all right, so let's do that. And then let's go ahead now and uh, connect. Let's disconnect this. Everything okay, babe? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's turn this this way and connect this back in. There we go. Place that back on. Okay. Now, we want to be able to power this up and verify that everything's working. So let's do that. Excellent. Now we're going to plug in our USB and we're going to turn on our radio and we're going to verify that we have radio movement if this is bound. I don't know if it's bound yet. Uh, I don't believe that this is bound to this. Oh, oh wait a minute. Hold on. Let me turn that off. Now we can test that. Let's try that again. Yeah, I'll give you both views. Okay, we have a green light. And then we have a green light. Okay, we're gonna get this product download and then look to make sure. We have S bus on one and we have no S bus signal. That's not good. All right, well, we're not able to get any S-Bus working uh, out of this Vista unit this way. And what I cannot tell you right now is if it's the Vista unit or if it's the flight controller. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put these goggles out and we're gonna see 
get any picture at all from the goggles. So let me grab my battery. Let's see. Okay, so we have our picture. Well, we have this, we have the controller working. So, this isn't the Vista so far. It looks like it might be the board, but we'll have to check. So his configuration and his goggles are wrong for this portion of it. So now we've got that taken care of and now we are able to get everything functioning like normal. We should have our mode set. So uh, I don't know if he's going to leave it like that. I don't know which. Oh, okay. So they have this is arming. This is angle. I assume he'll leave it that way for now or else he'll change that later. Um, actually, I'm going to probably change that so I can test this. So I'm going to make this arming and I will make this save let's go to configuration and let's change uh, let's change this to not always on save OK. 
Okay. Let's go to motors now. And let's make sure the motors spin properly. Motor one is reversed. Motor two is reversed. Motor three is reversed. And motor four is reversed. Awesome. So this, there we go. Should start it up with no problem. Now it looks like we're cooking. So let's go ahead and uh, disconnect. And let's power it down. And let's reassemble the whole thing. And get it working. Looks like we're gonna have ourselves a good working drone by the time we're done. All right, so first things first, right, we're gonna put this back on. We'll let that swing over the top, that's set. Is that what that was? I was trying to wonder what that was. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. I love you, though. I love you. It'll be awesome once it's done, you know? Uh-huh. <laughs> it's just going to suck until that point. Hey, that guy who's writing about the Vista repair, if he says he's kind of scared doing his own soldering. So if he wants us to do it, that's fine. I thought he was asking for help because he didn't. He wanted to give it a shot. But if he does, yeah, if he's not comfortable doing it, then he can send it in. That's the best I can do. I mean, he's asking us all that stuff about where to solder it to and all that. So what? Well, it's because you're making a lot of noise. Just kidding.
All right, this is now back together. Uh, we've removed the uh, additional receiver wiring. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna power this up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna power up our radio. Okay, that should shut up in just a second. And it did, perfect. Based on what we have, I should be able to turn this on and there we go so we've got uh, now we know our motors are right now I'm gonna plug it back into beta flight one last time just so I can see the uh, make sure that we are forward yep that's perfect so tell you what let's do a little hover in front of you guys right might as well no harm no foul we've got video so we can contest that we've got video let me go grab a uh, battery real quickly gonna grab one that's it's in storage mode I'm only gonna fly this or hover it for a second but let's see if we can do that right here move everything out of the way try not to get killed in the process let's put some calm props on here for now He's got his motor spinning in reverse, so I've got to make a conscious note to put the props on properly or this thing's going to spin out like crazy. There's one. and four actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the camera and angle it that way so I don't get killed this is a little too I'm looking at my desk it's a little too big for me to be trying to do this on here so let me go put this on the bench on the floor I'll be right back All right, this will be for a quick hover test only. So let's see if we can turn this camera around. Uh, let's do it like that. And let me just go find a spot to put this drone so that you guys can see it hover. That should be fine with that camera angle. Let's see. That, yeah, that's in view. Okay, so here we go. See if you guys can see that. Perfect. We are cooking with grease today, guys. There you go. So I need to know. Let me land it. All right. And that's it. So let's flip this around. And there we go. All right. Thanks. So there you go. So a little over an hour, about an hour and 10 minutes, we were able to get this quad fixed, put back together again, get the settings right on the DJI side, get the settings right on the flight controller side, download the firmware and uh, the, uh, the dump file from iFlight. Um, and we're good to go. Hope that helps to my customer who sent this in. I appreciate you very much uh, I, I appreciate that you trust us working on your on your uh, on your drones and to everybody else if y'all need help like this We're always here to help you guys out. Otherwise guys 
Christmas is coming up in four days. Wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. God bless. Be safe. Most of all, go spend time with your family. Never know how much time you have left, guys. Go make the most of it. You can always fly later. To my kids, Ashley, Lynn, and Jaden, we'll see you soon, guys. Love you. And uh, peace out, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.